Today, I'm going to tell you all about bedpans, bottles and bowels. I wouldn't say they're taboo topics, but they aren't talked about very often in the context of hip surgery. It's important to think about them though, because if you're going to have a hip operation, you can't avoid them. Let's be frank, if you've got a painful stiff hip, then getting on and off the loo is often difficult and uncomfortable. This will get much easier after your surgery, but you'll need a raised lavatory seat for a few weeks. We give you one to take home, but it's often worth getting another one so that you've got one upstairs and downstairs. Most people get rid of them after a few weeks and have no problems at all. This brings me to the mechanics of having a pee after your surgery whilst you're in hospital. Most of the time we use a spinal anaesthetic for your hip surgery. You'll be numb from the waist downwards for a few hours and won't be aware of having a full bladder. The nurses will have bed pans and bottles standing by and your bladder will be scanned regularly to see how much urine is in there. Most of my female patients choose to have a urinary catheter for a day or two after surgery. This is put in after the operation whilst you're still in the operating theatre. You won't be aware of it going in. Most men though would rather run a mile than being catheterised. One of the problems with this is that men are much more likely not to be able to pee after hip surgery. It's that pesky prostate gland. It gets a bit big and tight as we get older. The bladder fills up, but you can't let go. We call this retention of urine. It's very uncomfortable and a catheter will need to be put in pretty quickly, often in the middle of the night. We'll discuss the risk of this happening with you and if we think you're at a high risk, we recommend that you have a catheter inserted in theatre. It comes out after a day or two. Very occasionally though, you can't pee after the catheter has been removed. In this case, we might have to put it back in. You go home with a leg bag and an appointment to see a urologist. What about bowels? Well, they can be a problem after surgery. The painkillers that we give you can bung you up and it's not uncommon to get a bit constipated. We'll give you stuff to soften the stool and encourage you to eat prunes and drink orange juice. They're very effective. Sometimes though, you might need some of Matron's rocket fuel to get things moving. When things get really bunged up, you might need an enema, but this is really unusual after hip surgery. Once you get home with your normal diet and familiar surroundings, then things rapidly return to normal. How can you prepare for all this? Well, try to avoid for a few days before your operation painkillers that contain codeine. That really does cause constipation. Avoid alcohol because this can increase the need for strong painkillers after your surgery. These can make you constipated. Eat foods that contain plenty of fibre such as all bran. The most important thing to do though is try not to worry too much about it. Just surrender to the process. Everyone is here to help you get through surgery as quickly, comfortably and safely as possible. Thanks for watching.